Hi, I'm Nick Mott and I help produce the Essential Trustee, guidance from the Charity Commission aimed at all trustees to help them get the basics of trusteeship right. You should find this an easy read and here are some of the key features. Ensuring your charity's purposes are carried out for public benefit. Use our guidance to help you check that you know what your charity's purposes are, that they're up to date, and that you've got agreement with your fellow trustees on how they're going to be carried out. You can also use our guidance to help you fix any problems with those. Complying with your charity's governing document and the law. Your charity's governing document sets out the basic rules of the charity, what the charity is for, how it operates, who's in charge. You need to have a copy of your governing document. If you don't know what it is, have a look at your charity's entry on the register and ask your fellow trustees for a copy of it. You've also, of course, got to make sure that your charity complies with other legislation. It's different for every charity, but some of the most common bits of legislation are to do with safeguarding, fundraising, employment and health and safety. Act in your charity's best interests. The guiding principle in making a good decision for your charity is about focusing completely on what it's for and who it's there to benefit. Ensure your charity is accountable. Telling your charity's story, providing an account of what your charity has been up to over the last year and what its plans are for the coming months and years is really key. There are two important things that you need to do. One of them is to make sure that you file your charity's documents on time with us, the Charity Commission, if you need to. The other thing is about making sure that people who've got an interest in your charity know what's going on, know what your plans are. Manage your charity's resources responsibly. So this is about how you manage your charity's resources. So that means it's property, it's money, it's people and it's reputation. There's quite a lot in our guidance about managing risk, but if I had to pick out three highlights, they would be about making sure that your charity's resources are all used, focused on achieving your charity's purposes. It'd be about managing risk effectively, being able to spot risk and deal with any risks that emerge. And it would be about having good financial controls. Act with reasonable care and skill. Between you and your trustees, you're all likely to have a lot of useful skills and experience. But when you come across a challenge that you don't think you can handle, it's so important that you take qualified expert advice. The other point is that you need to know what to do if something goes wrong. And one of the most important things is, if it's serious, report it to the Charity Commission. Our guidance is free. You'll find it on the Gov UK website. You just need to search under the Essential Trustee and it will come up in the top one or two search results.